Peru's capital, Lima, is the largest city in South America without an adequate public transportation system. With many unregulated buses and taxis and poor traffic enforcement, getting around can be a headache. But in an odd twist, Peru's strict coronavirus lockdown has cleared the streets. In a city where chaotic driving and heavy traffic often made cycling a dangerous way to get around, it's now the preferred mode of transport for social distancing. Before the lockdown, most Lima residents used overcrowded buses and minivans to get around. Not ideal amid a pandemic. Journalist Roger Zuzunaga, who has a 35-kilometer round trip from his office, decided he wouldn't risk it. Before, he had to catch three minibuses just on the morning commute. Now he gets to work with pedal power. I'm cycling faster now. I hardly rest. I only stop to drink water. I've lost four kilos. I was five kilos overweight. And I'm arriving at work in about an hour and 20 minutes. Less than it used to take on the bus. Zuzunaga's route from the east of Lima was previously unthinkable for cyclists due to the sheer volume of traffic. But he realizes his two-wheel commute may not last forever. To be honest, I am very disappointed. The authorities have announced they will make cycling path, but only short distances, about seven kilometers. So we who live on the outskirts of Lima, to the north, the south, or in my case, the east, won't be able to cycle to work because it's too dangerous. The government plans to double the amount of cycle paths to 300 kilometers across the city, connecting dozens of pre-existing lanes. Now with the coronavirus uh, problem, uh, we have uh, an opportunity because the government has included uh, an approach of urban mobility uh, through, uh, in, into a national uh, basis. So now the cities are uh, trying to work towards having more bike lanes uh, with some temporary uh, programs uh, that we wish it will become permanent in, in, in a lot of, of these uh, bike lanes. Allegri worries about the combination of inexperienced cyclists and bad drivers, but hopes that when life returns to normal, both find a way to make it work. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.